Azure policy is a really helpful solution to your organization to meet compliance requirements. With Azure policy, you can audit your environment to check if we meet certain requirements, and we can also enforce that resources meet those requirements. You can also prevent the creation of resources if it does not adhere to your corporate requirements. Let's talk more about it. I'm logged into the Azure portal and navigated to Azure policy. Let's navigate to definitions. Under definitions, it shows different examples for different types of things that you can enforce in our environment. Let's talk about a specific scenario. There are several regulations across industries, governments, and also region-wise. Depending on the kind of regulation your company falls into, you may want to pick and choose one of these definitions here. For example, your organization may want to enforce Azure monitoring for all virtual machines, or probably you want to have backups enabled for all virtual machines, or audit the Linux virtual machines without any disaster recovery configured. You can also see if your virtual machines have managed this or not. As you see that the list is too big here, and there are numerous inbuilt policy definitions within Azure policy. So let's say you want to have transparent data encryption on SQL databases and it must be enabled for all databases in your resource group. Or you want to ensure that the disk encryption is enabled. Or tags are configured with certain values for all resources in a resource group. These are just certain examples from the range of policy examples we have. Azure policy is a really powerful tool to maintain your corporate compliance requirements. These definitions listed here tells us about the conditions that can be applied to your resource. And to understand this, let's take a close look at one of these policy definitions. Let's take a look at this one. Here it says that it needs to have a tag and its value. So if I enforce it, that means that all the resources in my resource group or in my subscription must have a tag and a value associated with it. I'll click on it to understand more about it. Once you click on it, what you will see is a JSON file. Here it says that the name and the value must be specified. Otherwise, the creation of resource will be denied. Once you have the policy and you're happy with it, then you would go and assign this particular policy to a resource. To assign it, you'll just click on this assign button and then you select the scope. The scope could be the entire subscription or a specific resource group. You also have the options to exclude. So you can specify the resources that needs to be excluded by selecting this large scope selector. Once you've selected the scope and exclusions, it's also important to address the tag and the value. What should be the tag and its associated value? That is specified under the parameter section. Now let's say I specify the tag as business unit and the tag value as information systems. This is the summary and finally click on create. So now I have assigned my policy with my resource group. That means that any resource that is created in my resource group will have the tag and the value that I mentioned during its creation. You can see the assignments in the assignment section. And this is what it is. Right now, I have just one policy under required tag and its value. Once you have selected the definition and assigned it to a resource or a subscription, you can go to the compliance section. In the compliance section, it will show me everything that is not compliant. That means that we can enforce compliance or maybe audit and report on things that are not compliant. We just created it and it is still running and hence the compliance state is not started. While we're talking about Azure policy, let's also talk about the initiative definition. This is under the definition section. If I click on initiative definition, it will give me a similar wizard. But what is initiative definition? Initiative definition is a collection of policies. So if you really want to create a complex, single, unified policy for your organization, you will create an initiative definition. So you can create multiple policies under a single initiative definition. So I'm just adding all of these policies that are there, or at least the ones that are required for my organization. And that means that I will have the selected policies under a single unified initiative definition. So what is an initiative definition? Well, basically it's just a collection of multiple policies under a single umbrella called as initiative definition. So Azure policy helps organizations to ensure internal policies and rules are being adhered to.
things like naming conventions being followed is a certain SKU allowed do you want to enforce the creation of resources in a particular region how about resource tagging or probably you want to make sure that the VM size can be enforced to a specific size in your subscription so you can enforce or prevent or report on things that do not comply to your organization wide requirements Azure policy is a really powerful tool and helps us meet compliance requirements in your organization before we get started with Azure Sentinel let's understand what a sim solution is logs are generated from various sources and they originate from virtual machines databases Azure applications load balancers and every application in Azure generates some kind of logs there is a need to aggregate all of them and correlate them let's talk about log aggregation log aggregation is all about collecting the data from all of these sources such as network security devices servers database applications and provide the ability to consolidate them all together correlation is done after aggregation so this is where we are looking at events to get some meaningful information and correlate this data from various sources correlation is typically a function of sim solution or security event management solution if you are getting a sim solution for your applications then most likely you would get the ability to create wonderful dashboards and produce reports for compliance you would also need to store these logs for long term in order to provide historical evidences of activities in order to fulfill compliance requirements all of this really helps us to perform forensics analysis at ease considering that we can filter thousands and thousands of logs in short time now that is what a sim solution does azure sentinel is a cloud native solution that provides a bird's eye view across the enterprise with azure sentinel you can collect the data at scale you can collect the data across all users all devices different kinds of applications and infrastructure which are hosted both on premise in azure and also in other clouds detecting the data would uncover the threats and minimize any kind of false positives using analytics and unparalleled threat intelligence from microsoft once the data is detected you would go ahead and investigate threats microsoft has a powerful ai engine that would hunt suspicious activities at scale as microsoft has been doing decades of cyber security work once they are investigated it is important to respond to events microsoft has a built-in orchestration capability that will automate the common tasks as a business owner or even as an application developer as an application architect it's paramount that you invest in security and not on the infrastructure that is needed to set all the security components azure sentinel is a cloud native sim solution from microsoft azure and that means that you will never bump into storage limits that will prevent you from running a query or protecting your enterprise Azure Sentinel does everything that a sim solution must do so it will do the log aggregation correlation alerting provide wonderful dashboards produce reports for governance and compliance and auditing purposes you can also retain the data over long period of time that is again required for your organization to meet those compliance requirements and with all of these wonderful features you can do forensics analysis by filtering through thousands and thousands of logs in a short time let's go ahead and build the azure sentinel service in the azure portal as you see i'm logged on to the azure portal and as always i'm going to hit the search button here and type azure sentinel in the search box all right so there you go it pops up in the first place and then as you see the first thing that you got to do is connect your azure sentinel to a workspace a workspace is a terminology from log analytics right so first thing that you need to do is create log analytics first let's see what's going to happen when you click on connect workspace so click on that and you will see that it will just redirect us to log analytics workspace because that's the first thing that we got to do 
all right so as always i'm gonna fill up these values select a resource group and i don't want to use any of these resource groups so i'll go ahead and create new and call it as rg hyphen security data or something and click on ok give it a name say log hyphen analytics it's okay looks like hyphen is not allowed put some numbers next to it and then select your region where you want to keep the logs and move on to the pricing tier right now i'll select pay as you go because that's the only option i have and that's only because my subscription is pay as you go but then for log analytics you'll be charged for the amount of data that you have used for log analytics and for pumping in data into log analytics from various sources i'll move on to the next section tags and click on review and create and let that validate my settings give it a minute and then this blue thing must pop up automatically click on create and give it a minute to get that published on your dashboard I will pause the video for now or with the magic of the video I will start it again once it is ready okay I just started the video recording again that's because log analytics one-to-one -one is created now we know that Azure Sentinel must be linked up to a log analytics workspace so I'll click the only log analytics I have and click on add okay it looks like it has successfully added the log analytics to Azure Sentinel what do we have here well two main options threat management and the second is configuration but before we start doing any one of these options as you see in the middle of this pane you got three things to do number one is collect the data in order to collect the data you need to connect the log analytics workspace to probably a virtual machine on your premise or a virtual machine in Azure or possibly in different cloud as well once the data is collected you can go ahead and configure security alerts and then finally based on these alerts you can orchestrate and take an action based on what's happening in your environment now I'm gonna click on connect to see the options that we have now it automatically redirects us to configuration data connectors now as you see in this exhaustive list there are a lot of options so you can connect to Azure Active Directory and that means that you can pick up the sign-in logs into various SaaS based applications who's resetting the user's password is there a user that's being added to the group is there a group that's being added to an application and who's accessing those applications so these are kind of logs that you can pump into Azure Sentinel and get more information about those authentications what's more it's not just Azure specific but there's something called Amazon Web Services isn't that wonderful that means that you can connect to a non Azure platform you can connect to on-premises as well and I'm going to tell that in a minute but then Azure Sentinel lets you connect to Amazon Web Services and can connect to a service called as AWS CloudTrail now on the bottom right hand side you see the data type that is acceptable from AWS is AWS CloudTrail now just for information I'll tell you that AWS CloudTrail is more like a logging feature in Amazon Web Services so anybody who's logging into AWS trying to do some modifications into any of the services like an EC2 instance or on the storage level you would have all the logs written inside CloudTrail now with this connector what we're trying to do is pull those logs into Azure Sentinel so that you can do various things like threat hunting identify if there is any behavior anomaly and do the threat intelligence as well okay let's click on the open connector page and then you'll get to know about the details as to how you can get connected to AWS CloudTrail keep in mind that every time you connect a data connector it could be Amazon Web Services on-premise or even Azure it takes certain time it takes certain time to pull those data pull those logs and start running those algorithms related to artificial intelligence so that it can do that threat analytics for you all right that being said I'll go ahead and close this and look further into Azure Active Directory and then once I click on open connector page it tells us how you can connect to Azure Active Directory looks like I've met all the prerequisites except that I need to have a license P1 or P2 now the Azure Active Directory that I'm using is a free one and that's why this part is currently crossed out 
but then in your corporate environments it is worth a try on the bottom right hand side again as you see you can see the sign-in logs you can see the audit logs as well okay people from the office 365 background or somebody who's worked on o365 atp will be wondering how they can import the logs from o365 which is a mailing solution from microsoft well what you can do is just go ahead and put the search filter type 365 here and you will see that microsoft o365 and the advanced threat protection is also there as on today this guy is in preview okay well do not worry about it much all you need to know that there are lots of connectors microsoft and non microsoft connectors that will let you pull data into azure sentinel and do that hunting identify any kind of threats any kind of anomalies using its behavior analysis having all such wonderful features you may be wondering what will be the cost of such tool well, Azure Sentinel is based on the amount of data that it is churning, amount of data that it is processing. So if I click on settings and then closely look at the pricing section, it tells me that more data that is being processed, more discounts that I'm going to get. So that's directly proportional. Now, for example, if you're processing 100 gigs per day, you're going to get 50% discount over the regular pay as you go method. Right now, mine is pay as you go but I can go ahead and pick and choose depending on the data that's being processed. Automation and orchestration is a key these days. Just collecting the data and looking at the dashboards really does not help. If there is an activity going on because of certain logs or because of certain exploit being happening in your environment, then you can take an action. Those actions are triggered with the help of playbooks. Playbooks is a sequence of events that will then go ahead and integrate with something called as logic apps so you can write those logic apps and create a workflow now as soon as i click on playbooks and add a playbook it redirected me to logic apps where i can create a logic app and make that further intelligent by creating the workflow and take an action based on an event that's being triggered into azure sentinel i'll move on to another section under threat management called as incidents now what we have here is the list of incidents that will be reported when an alert is configured and when an incident is reported. The first thing you as a SOC analyst or if you are from the information security background probably working in the cloud security area is you will probably get into the incident section here and see if there are any incidents. Right now this is a fresh environment so I don't have any incidents but then in production environments you might find quite a few of them and it's important to analyze them do some triage investigate and troubleshoot them to see where those alerts got generated from Azure Sentinel is a wonderful feature that Microsoft has got and it integrates with on-premise solutions you can go ahead and install an agent called as an MMA agent and then deploy it on-premise or deploy it in other clouds or of course it integrates with several other services like load balancers Kubernetes services, SQL databases, or any other service in Azure that generate logs. Alright, hopefully this has been informative for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.